Hello, I'm Ed Trism, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 as Nazi Britain, the British Empire. Going it alone, well, alone including all of our, you know, subordinate nations like Canada and Australia and New Zealand. So, we're at war with the Soviet Union, uh, Turkey, uh, Republic of Spain, although the Republic of Spain is technically in the middle of a civil war still, so technically we can't win. It will just effectively push the civil war one way or the other. Uh, but we should be able to continue and push our ground forwards. At the moment, we're going to try and take Istanbul and then be able to uh, call this bit here quits and then orientate our way up towards uh, Moscow. Now, I'm not signing a non-aggression pact with you. Um, I guess. Let's give you a front line. And let's give you an offensive line. And, um... We'll grab that. Now, I deliberately went over the edge of the river here, just so I could grab uh, Krasnodar. I want the victory points. Now, we can't technically win that. Okay, fair enough. Meanwhile, over here... Yes, push in. Holding for air power. Winning. That's good. Here, not. Okay. 400. Why do you say around zero? This is my control, around zero. Shouldn't it say like zero out of 200? Uh, well, I'm going to put some Spitfires in here. Oh, I love the addition of these buttons. I'm going to put 200 in. And look, I can deploy them already. Yay. Oh, that's so happy. Oh, it's such a good change with that patch. Taking a stumble is going to be a pain. Especially when it seems that we've completely forgotten what we were doing. Right, you're over here. You're a little bit lost. Right. Let's simplify things. This is your front line, alright? There are many like it, but that one is yours. This is your front line. And also there, because apparently that's the separate front line. Uh, and we're going to select half and put all those there. That should help somewhat. Now, I want you to prepare an offensive line. Think really hard about it. In fact, you can just go now. Screw it. And be aggressive. Um, I think you could probably get away with going really aggressive right now. As well. Go. Offensive line for you. Do it. Oh, yeah, you should probably stop since you just suddenly went, no, I'm losing. Yeah, stop. Meanwhile, you're pushing. You're not pushing, but that's, you know, somewhat understandable. In fact, I would like you to all push to Istanbul if you could. Uh, and you are pushing as well. Excellent. Now, if you wouldn't mind, be aggressive about it. And through this warfare, support weapons three, and I think we should do justify war goal. How long will it take? 40 days? Yeah. 
Because that's my cunning plan. We'll try and grab that nice and quick. Uh, ooh, motor is still ahead of time. I'm going to go infantry. Any new goal here? Uh, arm attack, sure. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's really rough. I don't know if we're going to be able to take that without landing on the other side. We'll see how it goes, but uh, I have my doubts. Now, can I just select everyone to touch this front? What is it? Control and right-click to select the units. Okay. And then... Chop. Sure. Now, how do I tell you to do this order? Um... There we go. Now, we're not going to win that crossing. We're going to have to surround them, and even then, it's going to be tough. So we capitulated. Oh, sweet. As in they like fully capitulated. Oh, that's awesome. I didn't expect that to be, you know, quite so sudden and dramatic. But yeah, sure, that was great. Um, okay, so with Turkey down, I could hit Greece maybe? Uh, what about you? I hit you as well. Basically, anyone who isn't in the Axis already, I can basically declare war on. Yugoslavia. Okay, and that should basically give me the ability to declare war on, bam, all of this. You are in the Axis, aren't you? Yeah. And you're no faction. Well, I might consider getting you. Uh, okay, oh now I've got to think out how best to do this. Uh, if we go frontline here... We're going to need some units to take these out. We'll micro that later. Uh, what about... You. Frontline with Iran. Yeah. And we'll start declaring on Iran. Let's have to buy Jean. It's here. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, that's going well. I don't think they're going to really be able to put much of a fight. Ooh, hello. Oh, the Italians lost three destroyers. Like, wait, I lost something? That's not allowed. No, it's Italians are lost something. Uh, ooh, we could go atomics. The problem is, like, I don't have the accelerated ability to research this stuff. I don't think we're actually going to... This, this is not going to become relevant. Like, I'm going to kill people before I can do this. Because this is, takes a full year. Then we've got to wait, you know, for this one. Because we can't do it ahead of time. And then we've got to wait for this one. It'll be 90... It's going to be 46 before we can actually use a bomb. I think by that time, we'll have basically declared war on everyone, so I'm going to pass the moment. Like, there are better things for research time. Like, I could do this ahead of time. It would take slightly longer, and I'd do, like, two and a half times out of, uh... Research bonus. I'm going to go for the, uh, decryption to get the attack bonus. Okay, so I don't think I can technically attack Portugal now. Because, uh, technically, I'd have to go through the Axis, and I can't do it from a country that's not a war of them, so I'd have to do a landing. So we're going to have to do a landing, which is uh, frustrating. How's our naval tech looking? That'll take me 54 days to do. I need to do it. I really need to do that. In 12 days, I can do it. Right. Um, I 
I need to put you in a new theater. Right, let's grab everyone in this theater, move them to a new theater, and we're going to call this um, Portugal. And then I'm basically going to do a, a amphibious invasion from there. This 15. I don't think I need to take on Portugal down here because as soon as I take them out here, we should win. Uh, this 15 can instead go over and... Ooh, I probably need them up here for the moment. I'm going to put them in the middle, actually, so I can have a choice. And I'll switch you over to British Theatre. For now, we'll just hold that front line. I'm happy to just sit here. Um, Italy sees close bonds with uh, Germany. To be fair, I'm pretty sure they had close bonds, but, you know, cool. It's always nice to know. I like it when friends get along. Uh, let's increase our infrastructure around here. Because if we're planning to transfer a lot of supplies in, we're going to need the infrastructure. And I'm going to put that to uh, head of the class. Make sure it gets done. Oh, there was a naval combat and it disappeared. Oh, Ooh, hello. Oh, it's their subs. Yeah. I might actually have to like split off some destroyers to do that. Italy just gave that to the German Reich. Fair enough. Interesting choice. I think by Portuguese posturing. I have to think about a war view at some time. Excellent. Makes another sense. Right. Bam. I would like to go naval. Landing craft. And I think I can give a naval invasion order. Wait, that is really terrible. There we go. That's much better. Still not enough. I was hoping for like a much wider frontage. Oh, well, I'll include Lisbon. We'll probably won't get it, but at least this will allow me to swing down and try and do that. And it says, oh, there's no one like in the transports. Maybe if I select a few people to begin with. And then we'll select more uh, once we've got the tech. Justification against Azerbaijan. Oh, wow. A lot of my things are finished. Uh, cool. In which case... Since we go to war, concentrate on capturing, like, Tehran and the first port here. Oh, God. Don't do that. No. Why? Why are you so keen on this province? There we go. Right, I would like to declare war, conquer, go. Yeah, and they've been called in. I expected that. They joined Commodore, and I expected that. Huh. Not as well as I thought. Well, fair play. I can't quite get you up there. I can, actually. But send you to here. And then send you here. Ah, there we go. Uh, meanwhile, Asia Minor, I really will need to transfer a load of you to be able to fighting up here. Uh, let's grab one unit of planes, bombers, and close air support. They should just about be able to cover that. Just. Barely. Uh, and I want you based here. Because I want you flying in Greece. I'm also going to need to base um, some fighters here as well. So let's get some spit... Whoa! I don't want that many spitfires. Nice try. Nice try. Get you up over Greece as well. 
Um, offensive line. Like that for now. But I will also need to be able to capture these islands. So I'm going to need to be able to nick a few troops. Can I... I can't really, like, put a front line here. Can I? Oh, I can, actually. Right. So you head for those front lines. Also got one against Bulgaria, which I'm cautious about using just yet. How long do they last? Yeah, plenty of time. That's just the subs again. Goddamn subs. Uh, oh, Yugoslavia. Okay, so we now got a war goal against Yugoslavia. Uh, okay. Greece, we're going to go already. Declare war. Sweden is guaranteeing Greece. Well, if I have to go against the war, get Sweden. That's fine. Greece joined common turn. Sweden's being called in. Oh no, Sweden, it's terrible. Whatever are we going to do? Please join common turn. It'd be so funny. Uh... Oh, yeah, I'd like you to attack. So we can join Comet There we go. Justification of conquering Porto. So we can go against uh, Portugal now. Um, that means Finland's going to have to fight them. Basically, I've got nothing to do with that war. I quite like that. Two infantry divisions here. Probably want to uh, join you. Let's get you down there. Right. And I want you to actually have a front line here, because we're going to use you to attack up into uh, Bosnia. Meanwhile, Portugal. How's my research going? Landing craft. going to take 44 more days. Uh, I don't want to go on you yet. We'll have to watch this one carefully. What have I got? When until? August. So basically in August, I can like start watching out. Just keep hitting them. Really aggressive, actually. I want you really aggressive with this attack. Yeah, so... And then select you. Just really aggressive. Keep pushing. Like, overrun them if you can. And then now you've pushed out there. Here's your offensive line. Should be in position soon. Ah ha ha! Greeks are going down easy. Thank you, Greece. Select half. Sign to there. Overrun. Yes. Full of Leningrad. Ooh. What's that? Up here, isn't it? Leningrad. Wow, the Finnish took over Leningrad? Not bad. I assume that, like, maybe, like, the Germans have put troops up there to help them? That's, you know, my assumption. How my purple's doing? They're doing well enough. Pushing to Tehran is going awfully. Yeah, let's select your infantry group. You are on careful. Oh, that's fine. Provided you're on careful, I don't mind too much. Wait, have we got two people over here with, like, two different color- with two of the same color? Yes, we do. Right. You're no longer being that color. You can be uh, there. Lilac. Sure. Nice cat. We managed to capture that quite uh, beautifully. Now let's see if we can get an attack from all sides to drive you back. Yes, it looks like it. Sweet. Okay. Um... 
Bulgaria. Declare war. Conquer. I know. And then... Push. They've been called in. No, lots of, like, no division things have been set up with this attack order now. And I'm kind of wondering why. Like, the AI's like, yeah, we need a new attack order. But we don't actually need to assign any divisions. I'm like, sure, that's counterintuitive. And keep pushing. In fact, just keep pushing all the way because you'll probably overrun them. And I think this is probably a good place to end it for today. Uh, Greece are going to go down fairly easily. Portugal um, is going to entirely depend on our landing. Then we're going to push up here, grab all of this. The only issue is this bit here, Italy's going to still own. Um, then we'll try and turn them around, attack Iran, maybe attack everything down here. You know, Oman, um, Yemen, Saudi Arabia. Mm, I think... Maybe Afghanistan afterwards, but then we'll just push them into the Soviet Union, finish that off, and then it'll be a case of taking on the German Reich, and hopefully they will go down pretty easily, although that's not guaranteed, of course. Uh, I probably should start training some more troops. Oh, we are training them, they're just taking time. Oh. There we go. I'll probably put down to train more as well, uh, and I think as soon as we get our medium tank, we'll be able to upgrade, which is four days, so yeah. We'll be able to upgrade to that and have our tank divisions properly kitted out. When we get motorized, we'll be able to have a proper motorized division. Uh, mechanized, sorry, we'll get a proper mechanized division. Fast, but also being able to pack a punch. But that'll be next time. If you've enjoyed so far, please remember to like. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. And until then, Heil Britain and stay shiny.